Today's powerful tip, guys, is about showing your boat a little love. Now, trailering your boat certainly can be really tough on the boat. It's vibrating, the roads are always seem to be under construction, and it vibrates the heck out of the boat. So take a screwdriver and tighten up all the hatches and all the screws on your console, and that will go a long way. Well, the same thing applies for your Yamaha as well as your power pole. Now, some of the key places that you want to focus in on using a half inch, uh, open end socket as well as a, a ratchet. We want to make sure we tighten up any of these brass parts. They have a nylon washer and lock nuts. Any place where these bolt, we want to make sure we tighten up all of these, checking them from time to time. Quite often when I'm running across the bay and I look back at my power pole, what I'm looking for is to see if there's any sway in the power pole when it's in the up position. If there is, it might be time to do a little tightening, a little love, a little maintenance. The other thing that you can do if you're using a transom bracket is use a 916 socket. The transom brackets have been made so that you can actually tilt the power poles in order to uh, compensate for the angle of the transom. So keep that in mind. These are some things that will actually make your power pole last a lot longer and you won't have to replace these bushings. And that's today's power pole tip.